Hello friends, here we have to see that how this uh, digital multimeter can be used to check uh, different types of electronics and non-electronic devices as well. Now to start with, switch on this uh, digital multimeter and uh, put this in ohm meter range. This symbol here, the diode symbol is uh, uh, showing us that you can uh, check different types of semiconductor devices uh, with the help of this multimeter. So I have put this switch in uh, diode symbol uh, range and uh, we have got here number of devices, uh, the diodes, the capacitor, LED and this one more capacitor here. So we shall one by one check all these devices. Now I take this uh, diode first. Now connect the two terminals of this multimeter randomly to the two terminals of the diode. See the multimeter is giving you no deflection. Now we reverse the terminals. The multimeter gives you certain deflection. So it is showing us that this diode conducts current only in one, one direction. So this diode is OK. Now we take another diode, connect the two terminals randomly like this, see no deflection, so reverse the terminals, you get certain deflection, the resistance uh, of the device is changing constantly because uh, my skin is in parallel with the diode device, so the resistance will constantly fluctuate because I am applying pressure and it is changing. So this is another diode tested. Now in the same way we can check another diode here. This is a very old type of germanium diode BY127. So connect the two terminals randomly here. No deflection. Reverse the terminals. So you get deflection. So it is a unidirectional device, unidirectional current device. In the same way you can check the LED also here, connect the two terminals randomly. Yeah, it is giving deflection only in one stroke. See the LED is also glowing. So once the LED is glowing, it is not necessary to reverse the terminals, but uh, we shall check it out. See no deflection in other So way. the LED is also a unidirectional current device. Now in the same way you can check uh, these uh, electrolytic capacitors. Now for that you have to change the position of this switch. Put this in 2 mega ohm range in particular. Now we have got this capacitor, two terminals and the two probes. Connect the two terminals to the two probes randomly. See the multimeter is giving you certain deflection and it is changing constantly. So as it is changing it is indicating that the capacitor is being charged through the internal battery of the multimeter device. Now just reverse the terminals. The deflection should be higher first and it should lower down. It should go down slowly. So it is going down. So it indicates that the capacitor is in good condition because it charges in one direction and when we reverse the terminals it discharges in other direction. This is another capacitor. We can check this capacitor also. We shall switch to different range say 20 kilo ohm and uh, recheck. Uh, use the same conditions to check the capacitor. I connect the two probes randomly here. See it gave you certain deflection and just vanished. We shall switch to higher position. Okay, the capacitor is already charged in this direction. Now I reverse the terminals. See it is giving you deflection and again you get overflow. So in both conditions you get the fluctuation and the resistance, the 
deflection suddenly increases so this uh, device is also working properly thank you